Hello friends, I am Anvesha and I welcome you to this channel Aspiring Banker Anvesha. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming videos. I make videos on English for bank exams and in this video today, I'll discuss verb part 3. Also friends, uh, every day I conduct free live sessions on an academy at 9.30 a.m. and at 2.30 p.m. The links are given in the description box. So please follow my profile and also please register for the classes. Don't miss these special classes or free live sessions as you see. Also friends, uh, if you use an academy for the first time, then please use the invite code Annie for unlocking the free content. Okay. So on an academy, you'll find many free live sessions and also many quizzes, but you will need an invite code for unlocking them. So use the invite code Annie, A-N-N-I-P. Today we will learn these confusing pair of verbs. Okay. Let's see the first one find found found and the second one found founded founded. Now these two are very important. Okay. Find means what to find or locate something like I found a wallet on the road. Find is the first form found is the second form and found is the third form find found found. Okay. I found a wallet on the road which means I uh, I located a wallet on the road found founded founded here found is the first form founded is the second form and founded is the third form now i have seen many of you get confused between these two these two forms of verbs okay so let's understand found founded founded means to establish like i can say um, the abc school was founded by Mr. Roy. Okay. So founded means established. Established by Mr. Roy. Next. Hang, hanged, hanged and hang, hung, hung. Okay. V1, V2, V3. When we say hang, hanged, hanged, it means a person or an animal is suspended by the neck. So this is the neck and if you suspend the person by the neck, you kill that person. Or if you suspend an animal by the neck, you kill that animal. So that is the meaning of hang, hanged, hanged. Look at the example. Ajmal Kasab was hanged at Yerwada jail in Pune. So hanged here means he was sentenced to death. Okay. He was hanged. Understood. And hang, hung, hung means to suspend from a peg. That is when you don't suspend an animal or a person by the neck, you will use this one. Okay. For any inanimate object. Or for anything, when you don't suspend by the neck, when you don't kill, this does not mean kill. When you don't kill, it you will use this one, hang, hung and hung. My mother hung a photo frame on the wall of her living room. So, this is her, uh, this is her living room, the wall and here there is a peg and from here he has hung a photo, uh, she has hung a photo frame. Okay. Next, lie, lied, lied means to make an untrue or false statement. Okay, so I can say uh, Meena lied to her parents about her score count. Okay, so Meena did not reveal her score card to her parents. She lied to her parents. Okay, so lied means to make an untrue or false statement. Next lie lay lane this means to rest to take a re to take rest okay to take a break and lay laid laid means to sacrifice so look at this example many soldiers laid their lives so this means what? They sacrificed their lives. Okay. So here laid is in V2. Okay. It also means to rest and here to rest for a long time. And it also means to lay eggs by chicken or by any other fish. Sorry, any other bird. Okay. To lay eggs. Fly, flew, flown. This is about aerial movement, air movement. And flow, flowed, flowed is about movement in stream that is water or any liquid okay for birds what will we use we will use fly birds fly 
okay and water flows next this one is very important the difference between rise and raise the forms are rise rose risen raise raised raised okay now look at the difference raise raise raised raise this will always take an object this always takes an object in a sentence object is mandatory over here and rise rose and risen this does not require an object okay so the teacher asks the students to raise their hands what is the object over here raise their hands this is the object my mother raised her nephew so raise and what is the object nephew here raised her, uh, her nephew means what she uh, parented her nephew okay so raised her nephew looked after her nephew parented her nephew okay so this is the object so object is always present but in case of rise rose and rise an object is not needed sun rises in the east so where is the object object is always either a noun or a pronoun but if you ask the question here sun rises where so this is not an object this becomes an adverb sun rises in the east okay the price of fuel is set to rise again so here also you do not have an object object is not present so rise rose risen they don't require objects okay participle participle now we will learn the concept of participle okay participle acts partly as a verb and partly as an adjective so let's understand present participle ing form of verbs can act as present participle you use this when an action is going or on or is incomplete it is also used as an adjective let's understand all existing business models are wrong so here business model uh, this is a noun business models this is noun and this one is an adjective so here ing form of verb acts as an adjective so this is a participle okay present participle crying relentlessly the baby threw away its toys here crying relentlessly okay so this one crying is a present participle because here the action is going on okay next for past participle past participle is v3 okay so when do we use past participle the two actions happen one after the uh, one after another okay an action that has been completed before another action takes uh, uh, another action took place and this or the second action is the result of the first action let's understand driven by his poverty he committed suicide now look at this he committed suicide this is the result and this is the result of what poverty so here the second action is a result of the first action that's why the first action in the first action participle has been used v3 the boy taken to hospital has recovered an action that has been completed before another action before another action took place okay the boy taken to hospital has recovered so at first the boy was taken to hospital then the boy recovered so this action was done at first then this action happened so here the one action this is this has been completed and then this happened so the first action has been completed then the second action happened so the first in the first action you'll use participle the boy taken to the hospital has recovered also you can think of this in this way that recovered is the result of the first action which is taken to hospital the boy has recovered because he was taken to hospital right so this is the result of this okay the interested candidates filled up the form now this is also v3 and here it acts as an adjective what kind of candidates interested candidates so this is again a participle okay another example of adjective v3 form which acts as an as a uh, as an adjective you know v3 form of verb which acts as an adjective swollen ankle here ankle is a noun and swollen is an adjective but swollen is actually what it is v3 form of verb okay now let's understand what is perfect participle having plus v3 is perfect participle this is important okay so this is uh, uh, the second action started after the first action has finished v3 is you uh, having plus v3 is used when the second action starts only if the first action finishes 
Having read the book, the boy came out of the room. The boy came out of the room after reading the book. So the, this action got completed and then this action started. If this action was not complete, then this action, if this action had not been completed, this action wouldn't have started. Okay. This is the uh, meaning of perfect participle. So here having plus B3 has been used. Having rested, they started their journey again. Now without rest, they wouldn't have started their journey. So this action has to be completed before starting the next action. So that's why having plus B3 has been used. Okay. So let's see the swollen ankle made it difficult for me to walk. So participle can act as an adjective. So this is an adjective swollen ankle. This is the noun. The glass filled with water was kept on the table. Okay. The glass filled with water. So here filled acts as an adjective. As a verb, I have done my job. I have done my job. I have barked the, I sorry, I have baked the cookies. So these are participles. As an adverb, he came home crying. So this is, he came home how? Ask the question how, you'll get this one crying. Okay. Now let's solve this uh, Phillips. Dash is, Dash in the same industry for years, we knew each other well. We knew each other well. So what will you place here? Having worked. Because this action got completed and that's why we knew each other well. Picture dash by Hussein sold for millions of dollars. Picture painted by Hussein. It is a dash fact that insects resort to chemical communication. It is a proven fact. Adjective. Okay. Next. Now let's uh, see how verbs come in sentence, okay, in a sentence. So uh, when, whenever you have a transitive verb, okay, whenever you have a transitive verb, you can write a sentence in this way, subject plus verb. The boy is sleeping. This is the subject and this is the verb. This is the helping verb. This is the main verb, okay. The child is playing. This is the subject, helping verb, main verb. Birds fly, subject, helping so helping verb is not there, only main verb. And uh, you cannot ch uh, change these kinds of sentences into passive voice. This these sentences are always in active voice, okay? Because here object is not present. You cannot change them to passive voice because object is not present because here you are using intransitive verb, okay? What is intransitive verb? Please um, go to verb part 2 and watch verb part 2 if you haven't already. Next is subject plus verb plus noun or pronoun or adjective. Okay, noun or pronoun plus or adjective. Let's see. This is a pen. This is the subject. Is is the verb. And this is the noun. Okay. She is happy. She is the subject. Is is the verb. And happy is the adjective. Okay. Next construction is subject plus verb plus direct object. She is the subject. Opened is the verb and opened what? The door. Direct object. He drove the car. He is the subject. Drove is the verb and the direct object. He drove what? The car. This is the direct object. Next. Subject plus verb plus indirect object plus direct object. Here both indirect and direct objects are present. I is the subject. I gave her my book. I gave is the, is the verb. Okay. Now what did I give? What did I give? my book so this is the direct object and whom did i give her this is the indirect object okay i bought her a purse i is the subject bought is the verb okay i bought what purse this is the direct object and i bought a purse to whom this is the indirect object her i uh, sorry i bought a purse for whom for her so her is the indirect object now, subject plus verb plus direct object plus preposition plus prepositional object. So, I is the subject. Gave is the verb. I gave my book. My book. This is the object. Direct object. I gave what? My book. This is the direct object. This is the preposition. And after preposition, if an object comes, it becomes prepositional object. Okay. I bought a purse for her. I is the subject. Bought is the verb. I bought what? Purse. This is the direct object. For is the preposition and her is the prepositional object. Okay. Let's solve these questions. Being a rainy day, I did not come. Now, uh, uh, now here, subject is not present. It starts with being. Subject is not present. Uh, here, being a rainy day, I did not come. Here, uh, reading the sentence, 
reading the sentence uh, we understand that i is the rainy day which is not true okay so we need to introduce a subject so let's introduce a pseudo subject which is it which is it it being a rainy day i did not come okay walking along the road my pen fell down my, now my pen was not walking along the road i was walking along the road so here we have to introduce the subject i okay while i was walking along the road my pen fell down he sounds politely now whenever you have verbs of perception like sound feel love hate uh sound feel love head see which is sight okay so verbs of perception that is the verbs perception means verbs of feelings okay so those verbs which mean feelings so those verbs are modified using adjectives and not adverbs please remember this rule so sound is a verb of perception so here politely is incorrect polite should come he absented now here object is not present so when object is not present with absent in what will you do you'll use a reflexive pronoun he absented himself he is going for a walking walking is a verb but here you have a an article an article is followed by a noun so uh, just write walk he is going for a walk he is going for a walk he goes for a run so here walk run these are nouns okay i am having a car now you cannot use having for possession please remember this having cannot be used for possession never okay so i am having a car is wrong instead of this you uh, you need to write i have a car okay i regard him my brother okay now this one will not do today it is actually i regard him as my brother because regard is always followed by as now this one we will understand in adverb chapter okay okay so i'll keep it till here so verb is complete okay i have told you all the important things which i should uh, which i should convey in my lecture so if you haven't watched verb 1 and verb 2 uh, then please watch them so that you can complete this part okay so tomorrow we'll start with subject verb agreement thank you so much for watching the session bye